I used to be really into collecting action figures, so I still have a lot of these mystery boxes full of random stuff in my attic, in my closets. This box has 80s figures in it, so let's open this up and go through this quickly. I'm not going to bother Googling the names of these things. If I remembered, I remembered. If I don't, this is possibly the coolest die-cast monkey I've ever seen, if not the only die-cast monkey I've ever seen. I did Google this one. His name is Fluff. Why would you call this thing Fluff? It's made out of metal. It's got a big blue head. But it's really neat. It's got like big feet on the bottom. It's got a copyright date. I really wish they made toys like this now. And they probably do for the collector market. But you can't just go into Toys R Us and buy a figure like this, which is pretty much why I don't go in Toys R Us and buy figures anymore. Here is, you know, I forget what this is even called, but look, he's got like a, like a thing, like a 3D thing, and now you can't see it, you can just see my hand, hi over there, Mr. Hand, and now you can kind of see it, and now you can totally see it, ooh, that's spooky, but if you're not looking at it from the right angle, it's just this weird flat figure. I had a bunch of these before, and if I remember correctly, it was really hard to photograph them so that you could see this thing. I figured it out though. This guy, I want to say he's a Thundercat. He's got a lever, a lever in his back, and when you, oh, hi. You know, he, he runs the New York City Marathon when you pull a lever. Because this is what you do when you're running. You swing your arms. And you'd swing your legs, too, but I have to hold him by the legs. Does his legs swing? No, it's like he's just... He's training for the marathon, but just from the waist up. Because he already has muscular legs. Like, he could run a marathon with those legs. Maybe he's not a Thundercat. Maybe he's something else. I don't know. It's a cool looking dude though, kind of like a like a tiger arm swinging cat thing. Very fun. Here's another one of these goofy uh, figures that has a 3D hologram. I don't know what that is. What does it say? Tonka Corporation, made in Hong Kong. Juntao. So, you look here, and it looks like he's got some kind of weird Buddha thing inside him. That's fun. That's a fun thing for a kid to play with if the kid wants to have nightmares. Now, what is this? Remco. Okay, this is obviously a knockoff of He-Man. This muscular figure. This, and to be honest, I'm not going to turn the camera around or anything, but this is exactly how my midsection looks. I am just as ripped as this face. I'm not made out of plastic. So, uh, that's something to look forward to if I ever decide to get a tripod that swivels 360 or 180. But here is a fake ass imitation He Man guy. He's kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, what's the difference? It's a little muscular figure with a. with muscular legs and very. very limited articulation. He's all right. I don't. He looks like he's missing something from his head, though. I don't know. I, what would you call him? Sean Connery, Thor. He's like that. The guy who's really cool that drinks Dos Equis beer, even though he doesn't usually drink beer. Here's another one. This might actually be. I don't know what this thing is. Some goofy Hanna Barbera thing, and he's he's obviously. This might be uh, Fonzie's stunt double. You ever see that show Happy Days and the Fonz would stick his thumb up and he'd go, Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
a sit on it, a great. I love that figure. Now, what the hell is this? I looked this thing up, uh, and then I immediately forgot what it was. Her name is like Shara, Yara, Jara, something. Looks almost like a crash test dummy. Flip it over, and it's like, it's like another thing on the back. You know, two figures in one. If your parents are cheap, they could either go to the store and buy you two figures, or they could buy one, and they could say, listen, Johnny, assuming your name is Johnny, if you want two figures for Christmas... You can wait two Christmases, or you could get this figure and flip it upside down. And it's got, I don't know if there's a, you know, it's like it's got feet on the front. You could probably saw this in half if you had a bandsaw, but then it probably wouldn't stand up. The, the great thing about this figure is it does stand up really, it'll even stand up in my hand. It'll hand up. So, I like that. It's a, uh, it's a bald woman, kind of creepy. But uh, there you go, two figures in one, and we don't, this was dated, uh, made 1982 Revell. Okay, what's next? Hey, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now, I'm not a big wrestling fan, but I love that movie, They Live. You ever see that movie? You gotta go see it. Only if you're like 18 or so. You might not want to see it as a kid, be a little dis disturbing. I think this guy might have died. Did he die? I don't know. If he did, it's very sad. But here's a little rubber figurine. And you can pose him in... I won't say any pose, because all you can really do is kind of split his legs a little bit. But that's the hot rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper. And then, I'm in the movie, They Live, and blah, 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 and I wear sunglasses. So, go see They Live. I mean, you can't go and see it. It's not in the theaters, but see it, it's great. Speaking of wrestling, I don't know who this guy is. This is from the, uh, uh-oh. You know, I, I think I may have lied. I think that I said that this was all 80s figures, and this is dated 1990. So who is this guy? I don't know. I was just watching that movie Heat last night, and he looks kind of like a cross between Wayne Grow and Trejo. Go, go watch Heat. There's a lot of fast-forwarding you have to do in that movie. A lot of real dumb parts, but... Like, he's got Wayne Grow's hair and Trejo's sort of mustache thing. Neither one of them is all that muscular, though, so it's kind of just from the head up. And he almost looks like Steven Seagal without his hair pulled. Eh. You know, is this a fun figure? The arms move? I guess if you're into this guy and you're into wrestling... I had a bunch of these years ago in a tub that I bought at a garage sale and sold on eBay at a tidy profit. So, he's alright. Look at this guy. Uh, the green something? The green lantern? The green arrow? He has arrows in his quiver on his back. That's a real awkward looking quiver. He's kind of a, I don't know. A weird blonde dude, and... Does he really think that this raccoon mask is going to prevent anyone from identifying him with his beady white eyes? Oh, but he's got... His arms go up and down in unison. You can't separate the arms, but usually that... Oh, here's what you do. I got it, I got it. You squeeze his legs. Ah, ah! That's probably what I would do if someone squeezed my legs like that. I'd go, ow, 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 stop squeezing my legs. He's all right. What's this guy? You know, I think, I want to say, th this is me being uh, the action figure genius that I am. This is from um, Voltron, right? And when I was a kid, I thought I would see Voltron, and I thought it said Voktron, because the L looks like a C. I didn't really know what Voltron was until I was an adult, and even now I don't really know what it is. But I think this guy might be from Voltron. And you know what? <laughs> no, he's not from Voltron. He's from TSR, which is, uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't know what TSR stands for, but it means he's probably from Dungeons and Dragons. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. They had a lot of little figures. Never could figure out how to play Dungeons and Dragons because the only time I played it was with a kid who didn't read too well. So he wanted to be the dungeon master, and he would have to have me read the adventures, but then not go any further in the book. 
it was very cumbersome, but this figure is phenomenal. Look at the head on him, and the, you know, he's got weird stuff on the side, and then he's like half man and half sort of blue lizard armored beast thing. This is a great figure. Now, uh, oh, hello, I'm Dracula. I come to suck your blood. <laughs> See, if th this figure, you know, I probably shouldn't take it out in daylight because he'll die. He turns into a bat, and he's articulate. Look how articulate he is. He can go sledding. See, you put him in a sled, and you might have to... This is a rare variation. It's the vinyl cape Dracula. Oh, wow. I'm so much of a nerd. Despite my chiseled abs. So, vinyl cape Dracula. He's a good-looking guy right here. You know, see, now look at the lighting. He's, uh, he's all silhouetted on one side. It's all spooky. Oh, uh, Boris Karloff. Uh. So, good for him. This thing. I love this thing right here. I don't know what it is. It's clear, though. Isn't that so cool when they made action figures just out of clear plastic? Oh, maybe he's from Tron or something. You know, maybe he's like a Tron guy. I don't know. If you're really an action figure aficionado, you're probably going to want to kick me in the nuts after watching this video because I got every single one of these wrong. And how hard it would it be for me to Google it? But, like, let's say it takes me three and a half minutes to Google this thing or 30 seconds. That, may, that would make this video 14 hours long. You don't want to watch that. You just want to see the toy. So here's the toy. And uh, you can figure out what it is. This is fantastic. I wish it was in a little nicer condition. He can do push-ups. Push-ups are very good for you. And there's there's that. And look, it's good old boys. Luke Duke, Tom Wopat. Hey, Bo. Our first few episodes are fantastic, but then we figured out that kids like the show, and we dumbed it down and made it really corny. But, seriously, did you ever see the one where they were wrestling alligators? I don't know if he was wrestling them or Bo was wrestling them. Watch the movie that they did with Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville is a way better uh, Luke Duke than Tom Wopat, even though Tom Wopat's the original Luke Duke, and you gotta give him credit, it was an amazing show, he didn't make a dime for this action figure, he should have, they should have paid him, that's why they left the show, that's why Coy and Vance came in, because Luke and uh, Bo, John Schneider and Tom Wopat wanted money from the merchandising, and they didn't get it, and when the company finally caved in, it was because the show wasn't popular enough, no one was buying the toys, these things were on clearance in the early 80s, this one is in a box in my living room, and it's such a great figure. It's, you know, I think it's by Mego. It's it's nothing special. It's not like these 360 laser etched sculpts like they do now, but what, what a phenomenal figure that is. So that can play with your G.I. Joes. Who's this guy? I don't know. I like him. I like him a lot. He, he's got a lot of solidity to him. I'm going to say M.I., Am I? Is that Mattel? So is this a, a He-Man guy? Uh, I don't know, but he's got this really cool purple head. He looks kind of like a jerk. I don't know, maybe he's just uh, in a bad mood. And, oh, see, they all had to have, like, a gimmick. And his gimmick is that he can do the twist. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. I, I, I hope I don't have to pay royalties, because I just used the lyrics to that song. But uh, he can do the twist. I'm getting dizzy just watching it. I love this guy. If I uh, still collected figures, I'd put him right on my shelf and, and keep him. What is this tiny little thing? It looks like an alien. I know there was a whole series of these little rubber figures. They were muscle, M period, U period, etc. Uh, this guy is a knockoff. He's made in Hong Kong. But wow, what a cool thing. He's got like an alien saucer head and robot clamp arms little plastic doohickey we like it this guy what is this from mask maybe i don't know it, or it's just a knockoff he's got a rusty screw and winter outfit on or maybe he uh, that's a helmet okay he's a motorcyclist good good for you okay you can ride your motorcycle and uh I don't know where the motorcycle is, but he can ride it, and he won't hurt his head if he falls. This thing, I thought it was a Transformer, but I looked inside, and I think it's copyrighted Mattel. Mattel did not make Transformers. So it's like a 
transforming lion, Bengal tiger type of thing. Let me see if I can pop this open without breaking it. And what, like, what's this supposed to be? You open it and it's just an egg? What do you put candy in there? This is for Easter? The Easter lion? I don't know. I like the, uh, I like the plastic. It's nice quality, but it's just, that's not a fun toy. What about this guy? Oh, it's another one of these guys. Hello. I, uh, I'm a little bit blurry. He's got a blurry hologram. Maybe that's his name, Blurogram. What, what an action figure. All right, let's, let's look at Blurogram in all his glory. He does not have any fancy mechanical uh, spring-loaded thing. His big gimmick is that he's got this hologram of what looks like... I don't know, it looks like uh, the floor of a cave or something. I kind of feel bad for him. doesn't have a face. What is this guy? Maybe this is a masked guy. He's tiny. He's a little baby guy. He's purple. And... He can walk like an Egyptian. Purple, gray. Probably got a little copyright somewhere on him. Don't know what that is. That's a fun little guy. Just don't choke on him. Here is. Uh... Wow, I'm. I never was into uh, uh, like. Uh, what do you call them? Superheroes, X Men or, or Marvel Comics or anything. So I don't know what this guy is. The Green Goblin, the Green Lantern, Iron Man, something, whatever, it's alright. I, I wouldn't mind having this thing on my shelf looking at me, but I wouldn't go out of my way to ever own it, so he's cool. What's the date on him? Uh, 1984 Marvel Comics Hong Kong. So, Marvel, you did a great job on that guy. And oh, speaking of superheroes, look at this guy. We all know who that is. That's Superman. Or as they'd say in Lynn, Massachusetts, Superman. Yeah, dude, you gonna go see that new Superman movie? That was kind of like a almost a New York accent. But anyway, Superman is training for the New York Marathon. And now that's an ethical question because obviously Superman can run super fast and he can fly. So why would he compete fairly against the other members of the, uh, of the New York Marathon, right? But let's hope that he does. Let's, ho let's hope he doesn't use any of his superpowers and he just uses his training and his chiseled abs and maybe he'll win the marathon. Now, let's see who we have here. Robin. Why would you want to be Robin? Why would you want to be someone's dopey sidekick? And why does he have this mask? Everybody's, like, it doesn't... And why does he have... He's got, he has on no pants. He's got, like, little hot short, hot pants on. Little short shorts. It's like a, a bathing suit with lizard texture. I, I don't like Robin. What, all right, what does Robin do if he pushes, pushes thing? Um, okay. I guess you push it and his arm swings or something. Oh, here we go. Oh, he, he'll karate chop you. Let's see. Come on. Ch chop, chop, choppy. Well... Alright, this is frustrating. I just want you to chop me. Alright, he's not gonna do it. Goodbye. Who is this guy? Robocop, maybe? No, probably out... Probably too early for Robocop, but he could be Robocop. He's got like half a face and half a robot face. There's a lot of figures that's like half something and half something else. Made in Malaysia. Where's the copyright information? L-E-G. L-E-G. 1986. I don't know what LEG is. You know, I I can't I I can't fault this figure. It's something. It's cool, but it's not my cup of tea. Another one of these superhero things. Blue face, green clothes, purple pants. What is this? Probably another one of those Marvel figures. Hi, I'm Blue Face guy. Does he do anything? You squeeze his legs, nothing happens, his arms. I don't know what his superpower is. He has a cool, like, belt thing going on. You could take that off. I'm not going to take that off. All right, who's this guy? He looks mad. What are you so mad about, dude? He's got this coat, like this whole leather suit. I'm guessing he might be from Mask. What's his copyright date? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't have a magnifying glass. I'm not putting this camera in macro to try and figure it out. This guy, he, you know, he's got like this suede mountain suit on, but then it's got this orange technological vest, so I think he's probably from the future. And uh, let's send it back to the future. Bald guy, green and pink suit, probably another Marvel dude. He's got a button here. What does that button do? I don't know. I'm mystified by his little little button that's supposed to do something. His legs don't... Well, okay. He does something. something. He's getting his groove on. Okay. See, he's embracing his baldness. He doesn't have, like, like the toilet seat ponytail or a comb over. He just says, no, shave it all off. It's done, and I'm going to wear a, a green suit and pink, pink boots. This guy, that's a badass guy right there. Now, this thing, this is a thing that I think is supposed to go with this guy. Maybe. When I found it, I think it was on his arm. Don't know what it is. Don't care. Here is, let's just make sure, I want to save my favorite for the last, but here is the Joker. Steve Miller, Jack Nicholson, no, it's just the Joker from Batman. This is a really cool figure, look at the, look at the look in his face, and it's all painted white, it's not molded in white, it's just painted white and green and red, how do they paint these things? I would get fired on day one if I was painting action figures for a living. So there's that, and finally this thing. I don't know what this is. 1986 Telepix. So, this is so cool. You pull up his head, and then these like saw blades on his shoulder. He has shoulder blade saw blades that spin when you pull his head up. I don't know why. I mean, how, how is he going to cut somebody? Because you can't even... He, he'd have to literally just shoulder check you. He, you'd have to be playing hockey or football, and then he could just go, Oh, give me the football. Give me the football, Victor Cruz. And he could just, like, slice the, the quarterback's head off with his shoulder things. And then how is he going to hold the football with these claws? But still, this is really cool. It's very solid. It's very heavy. Well, not very heavy, but, you know, heavier than normal. And it's got a lot of angles to it. This is something that's going to stand up. It's not going to fall over. And it's got this cool thing and this... Little jaw. Oh, I could just do this for another two hours, but I don't have that much room on my memory card, and my battery's gonna die eventually. So we'll do it another few, couple, two, three more times. And here's his arms and pivoting. And let's just do that a couple more times. Don't know what that figure is, but in my humble opinion, it is the best one in the box. So. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing of 80s action figures, because I certainly did. I love looking at these things, and there will definitely be some more boxes coming up in the near future.